lots of sweet things about the Jersey Shore. Some folks in Ocean City insist the sweetest is saltwater taffy. Well, you know, it really is chewy and it lasts a while. So it's a good treat. Oh, I love saltwater taffy. I guess it's the taste, uh, the texture, the fact that it, it's made here in New Jersey. Shriver saltwater taffy's Holly Kisby. Because you can't really get salt, good saltwater taffy anywhere else but the shore. Shriver's established in 1898 is the oldest candy store on Ocean City's boardwalk. During the summer, they sell over 2,000 pounds of taffy a day, and they just expanded their store to make room for their 70 different flavors. I love the flavors. They got so many flavors, I just like to try them all. The taffy's cooked in this kettle. Shriver's won't reveal their secret recipe, but sugar is the main ingredient. It's stored overnight, then it's transferred to a cooling table in the factory. A Shriver employee called a puller places the taffy onto this puller machine. That stretches the candy. This is also where the flavor's added. Next, the 100 pound piece of taffy is put back on the cooling table to shape. Then it's loaded onto the taffy machine. This batch roller shapes the taffy. It's pulled through the machine and transformed into its well-known size. The machine then pokes little holes into the taffy to pull and pop air bubbles. Then it's cut, wrapped, and sealed. The machine spits out 300 pieces of taffy a minute. Customers can watch all this from behind a window in the store. I think for me it's the memory of it. It's just the memory of something so innocent and so pure as candy. And it's actually, you get to see it made. There's so, much, so many things you eat you'd never get to see made. Despite the name, Shriver Saltwater Taffy isn't made with any salt. It actually came from a man with the name Bradley from Atlantic City who had uh, a little stand on the beach and the tide came up one day and ruined his stand and all of his candy had salt water from the ocean in it and a little girl came along and called it salt water taffy and the name stuck ever since. It's that piece of history that's so appealing to Philadelphia resident Curtis Glenn. That's a bygone era. You can capture it still today. For these customers, a visit to the candy store has become a Jersey Shore tradition that keeps getting sweeter. In Ocean City, I'm Lauren Wonko for NJ Today.